So how many of you in here love eating a really good burger? Everyone. Now, how many of you in here have ever heard of In-N-Out Burger? Well, I'm here to tell you through experience that it is the best burger you've ever had and it beats out any other one you've ever had. In-N-Out is not just any old restaurant and it's not just any old burger. They have transformed the way we think of the, American, of the classic American hamburger. So today, I'll be talking to you about the history behind In-N-Out Burger, the secret to their success, and the religious impact they're making on the country. So this brings me to my first point, which is where In-N-Out all began. Although on the West Coast, In-N-Out is popular and well-loved, a lot of people don't know about the history. Well, in 1948, a man named Harry Snyder thought of the revolutionary idea of creating a drive through hamburger restaurant. According to the International Directory of Company Histories, published in 1998, Harry Snyder and his wife Esther opened up what is said to be California's first drive through restaurant. They opened it in, Los, in the Los Angeles suburb of Baldwin Park in California. And three years later, they opened up the second location in the San Gabriel Valley, um, east of Los Angeles. The news and popularity of this restaurant grew rapidly uh, when the need for cars grew and with people being on the go all the time. In 1976, when Harry passed away from cancer, the company was given to his two sons who became the president and vice president. And by this time, the Snyders had opened 18 drive through restaurants in the, all of the Los Angeles County. Another historical fact is that the original menu that was there in 1948 is still there today. It includes a number one, which is a double-double, which is shown on this poster, a number two, which is a normal cheeseburger, and a number three, which is the classic hamburger. Now you might think to yourself, how can a restaurant with only three items on the menu become so popular? Well, in 1989, in issue of Forbes magazine, Rich Snyder, Harry Snyder's son, stated that it's hard enough to sell burgers, fries, and drinks right. And when you start adding things, it gets worse. In-N-Out has kept it simple since the beginning, and they will continue to. It's one of their trademarks. Today, In-N-Out has more than 240 locations in California, Arizona, Nevada, and even Utah. And they have plans to keep expanding. So now that you all know some of the history, I'm going to be sharing with you the secret to their success. Cleanliness, employee satisfaction, and quality over quantity are the things that separate In-N-Out from all their other competitors. No matter which location you go to, it's always super clean, and which brings in more business. And the starting associates earn $10 an hour, and they get full benefits. And so happy employees equal happy customers. But above all, their food draws everyone in. Each burger is made of 100% beef, and it's hand ground and formed by the workers in the restaurant. And they have fresh potatoes and they peel and cut them. And the buns are baked fresh. According to an article in 2008 called Quality You Can Taste, Chad Veen explains that 99 out of 100 people would prefer a double-double over any McDonald's sandwich. And In-N-Out doesn't even have to promote through commercials because they don't have any commercials. When a company can do one thing and do it right, their customers do the advertising for them. So now that you know the secret to their success, I will share with you the religious impact In-N-Out is making. Something very unique about In-N-Out is their promotion of biblical scripture. Unknown by many people, they actually have verses printed on burger wrappers and underneath cups. In an article from the Mormon Times in 2009, Lynn Arev stresses that one thing Snyder didn't want to have to face is Jesus in the afterlife and explain why he didn't promote the gospel. So now, Revelation 3.20 is listed on the fries wrapper, Nahum 1.7 is on the back of the burger packaging, and Proverbs 3.5 is on the shake cups, and John 3.16 is on the soft drink cups. And even though the references are printed in small letters and hidden, when people see them during their meal, they stop and think. This restaurant is promoting Christianity. This is their way of witnessing, and I believe it's a big reason why they've been so blessed with so much success. So now that you've heard all my points, I would like to finish with this. I hope everyone in here will be able to experience an out Burger for themselves, and now you'll be able to appreciate it even more by knowing where it came from. 
the secret to all their success and the truth they're trying to promote. Thank you.